Good Wednesday afternoon. My name is Jerry Miller. Welcome to What's Barking Local on the <laughs> I Love Seville Network, powered by Animal Connection. Almost 20 years serving successfully the Charlottesville and Central Virginia animal community. Patty Zeller, the star of our show, Judah Wickhauer, our director, studio camera. Good to see you. Yay. How I'm, are you? I am accessorized and ready to go. You got, oh, I'm going to put yeah, them on right, right now. Judah, I'm going to put them on. What's going on right here, Patty? Happy Easter week. Oh, Get ready. I, the things I do for my friends. I know. Isn't it great? Yeah. Take one for the team. Is this good? That's fabulous. Judah, we're good? <laughs> uh, we got the uh, bunny ears on. Yeah. Patty, um, one week by last week, people told us you were an inspiration on oh, this wow. program. Seven days later, how's the mindset? Oh, my gosh. Well, I tell you, I've been hearing from a lot of people that I am truly inspired by uh, we were so lucky and uh, to have just hundreds of cans of dog and cat food come in. Judah, maybe you want to show those pictures and I'll let everybody know what's going on. So, um, you know, everybody gives food at Christmas time and it's starting to run out about now because there are just hundreds of animals in these small rescue groups. I know Caring for Creatures usually has about 100 animals mm -hmm. at any given time. And they, they need food. So we... How'd you do it? We would call one of our distributors that we just know and love. And that's why we go to trade shows is to talk with them and put a name with a face. So they're, they're there, there to help us when we need it. And uh, golly Moses, they came up with... Golly food. Moses. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they came up with food for us that was 50% below oh, wholesale. Amazing. So in the door yesterday morning comes in over 1,275 pounds of canned food for uh, Green Dogs Unleashed. Beautiful. Caring for Creatures, Peaceful Passings, and uh, people have picked it up. Oh, including Beth Marcus, got some for some fosters that she's doing, and... Man, I'm just, you know, overwhelmed by the generosity. And um, we posted those pictures on Monday uh, and Tuesday as the food was coming in. And, you know, I've already had other phone calls like, hey, can you get more? What else can I give these guys? So I'm just floored by the generosity. How about that? That is beautiful. Yeah. She continues to it's bring nice. the positivity and the inspiration um, the bunny suit, Mark is watching at Animal <laughs> Connection at McIntyre Plaza. Oh, yeah. I have the ear, That's the right. ears on. Mark, I bet you got a chuckle out of this at the store. Jerry was voluntold. Not, my friend, I was voluntold to put this on by our star. I'm yeah. just the lowly host on and What's Barking Local. And, we, and you know, we're doing this because uh, you know, we can do the pictures from last week, too. But, you know... It's bunny season, and I'm going to be wearing the pink bunny suit again on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at Animal Connection. You got those pictures, yep. Judah? Pink, pink. Oh, look We've at got... that. Look at the chemistry. Oh, Give boy. them some props right I love there. You that. see that? That's great. It's on screen. Nice. Okay. Oh, Tell us. Teresa Davis just shared the show. Yeah. So, um, you know, we still have a few Easter baskets left to sell and some toys, and but you can put anything in an Easter basket. It doesn't have to be... Uh, just the things that we picked. I mean, you can put anything from our treat and chew table or training treats, anything that your dogs or cats like. So, uh, yeah, come by Animal Connection. We'll have it ready for you. Curbside, I will be in the bunny suit. We're going to get her yep. friend, Trace. She's going yes. to welcome... And this is one of the first times in the history of the animal community <laughs> in the United territory. States of America here. Okay, she's <laughs> right. going to welcome one of her friends... Yep. From Houston, Texas. That's right. Onto the broadcast. And T-minus right. a couple of minutes. Trace, That's we'll go right. to you soon here. Before we do, I was hyping you on oh, the my. I Love Seville show. Thank you. Um, I closed the I Love Seville show with a snapshot of Patty Zeller and oh, Animal Connection. And nice. I talked about the pivoting, the innovation, the, the willingness to deliver food on the same day, on the same day, yep. to neighborhoods and people uh, and Charlottesvilleans in the community. Mm -hmm. yep. And I was, I was impressed. Well, with the innovation. You. Uh, thank you. And I've really been impressed, and I want you to throw them a bone. I've been really impressed with how the communities responded to this offering. They really have. And we also mentioned the other day that we have plenty of trial sizes and extra cans and pet food, uh, dog and cat food, for people that are out of work, restaurant workers that are out of work. I mean, anybody, if you can't afford to feed your pets right now and need a little help, we don't want to see them go to shelters. So call us. We've got food to share. Um, I got in a load yesterday of... Uh, some extremely nice kibble that I got at deep, 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 deep discounts. And 
We have a lot to share. So, you know, we're here to help the community, so call us. We're seeing things positively heading in the right direction. Right. New Jersey and New York, the numbers, some positive glimmer in the numbers. Yeah. We're seeing some positivity from China, where this originated. We're mm -hmm. seeing some positivity in the stock market. We're seeing a glimmer of hope. Nice. I'm going to throw that to you and get Trace on the line. Judah, we're going to reach out to Trace, but the glimmer of hope to you, Patty. Right. Well, one of the reasons I have Trace on this show is, you know, she's, she's a pal of mine. I met her through the retail world and going to trade shows, but... Um, her store is in Houston, Texas, and golly, man, if, if anyone's been through the mill, oh, look, there, <laughs> I can see my stand Let's go up. to Trace on Skype, Judy, yeah. the director, when you can, but keep well, going, okay. Patty. Okay, the reason, one of the reasons I have, other than she is just very inspirational, is, you know, Houston, hurricanes, floods, your entire store is just, you know, smeared, right? Trace can find the bright side of anything. She can find plan B, C, D, and I don't think she ever has to go to plan F. And so I, I know she's got some clever ideas that anybody in any kind of business can do. Uh, I know she's inspiring to me and to anyone that's around her, and she's just a joy to be around. So let's bring her on the show. And look think? at the cutout yeah. she has on. I know. Put see? your earpiece in so yeah. you can hear Trace. <laughs> Trace, while she gets the earpiece, why don't I throw I'm you in. the first question here? <laughs> Trace, who are you? What are you all about? Passions, <laughs> hobbies, interests? You look like someone I want to sit right next to at the bar, shoot the shit with, have a couple of beers and a couple of drinks with, and have a good time. Are you wearing Trace, an Astro shirt? Who are you about? <laughs> I'm not about a couple of beers. I'm about there more than go. a couple. I can tell you, <laughs> and that that's why we're to friends. <laughs> start with, but uh, uh, yeah, we're H Town coming right to Seville. Um, I own a pet grocery here uh, called Flying M Feed mm -hmm. and Pet Grocery, and uh, we've been in business since twelve, and um, and we um, are just trying to. You know, with everything, we try to pivot and spin and uh, find the positive, find the hustle. Um, you can tell right now I'm I'm mask at the ready. <laughs> Bacon and, and um, eggs. <laughs> we're just we're just trying to uh, hang in and and do what we can. And it's you know it's an honor to be here with Patty because you know Patty those kind words are right back at you, man. I just find Patty to be so inspirational and so motivational and um so i'm just really happy to to be able to kick it around with you guys I'm today blushing. <laughs> me too yeah i know you should be <laughs> <laughs> well um where were we going with this uh I see Liza behind you. I see my stand up behind you. See, we're swapping, we're swapping marketing stuff here. You know, it's beautiful. There, there she is. It's that beautiful. was on the set here at I Love Seville for a while. That's and right. And now it's on a road trip. But uh, Trace and yeah, yeah, Trace and I are kind of sorority sisters. We're both America's coolest pet store winners, and we're both yes. uh, retailer of the year winners. So it's it's like an yes. exclusive little sorority. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> we're, we're we're sisters. <laughs> so. So what, what are you guys up to today? We are, uh, we've been, I'm not going to lie, we've been pretty slow this morning. Uh -huh. um, we had uh -huh. a situation, you know, a couple weeks ago where people were kind of panic and manic buying. Right. And so uh, people stopped up a lot on dog food and um, we're not seeing our normal day-to-day -day traffic, but we're trying to create uh, different items and different bundles to kind of push some more business online um website edition oh you launched so that really today didn't you trying the, the new shopping site we did how's it going yeah. Woo, nice you, you just launched it this morning right <laughs> <laughs> that's something Atta though girl. trace I yeah know. i'm telling you and um this weekend we're going to just set up a big curb side event um outside and so you know i was really depressed yesterday because i heard so much about these loans and these advances that oh just gosh. aren't happening and i just thought you know i can't count on that and i'm just gonna have to make it happen you know 
make it happen ourselves, just like we did when we started seven years ago. And I was all by myself and we were happy to just have a couple of customers a day and we were grateful. And that's what we're just, we're, we're just kicking it back old school again and starting fresh and just, you know, going with nice. that attitude. Well, I mean, we started hearing things in the news uh, with some of our store friends, like, oh, we only got $30 or something just crazy like that. I mean, what is with that? Did you, have, have you heard, been hearing this? No. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, some people said they were expecting like thousands of dollars and they, and they got some sort of, ex, you know, that advance that they're supposed to give you and it was like 30 bucks. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> so we're, I, it made me want to drink, Trace. <laughs> <laughs> we're, Thirty bucks, I'll buy the first there you round. Go. <laughs> I was going to say we're live on what's barking local. We got eight different states watching us here. Yeah. Um, we got a lot of folks watching us here in Charlottesville. Brian Harris, hello. Mm -hmm. Tracy Lee Shiflett says she loves, 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 loves the bunny ears. <laughs> um, Grace is choice, watching in Belmont. She says blue looks good on you, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Beth Marcus is watching. Welcome to the program, Beth. Um, Trace, I'm going to throw this to you guys. And Trace is on our hotline. She Sorry. is in Houston, Texas. And I, um, and I she sang the Archie Bell. grocery yeah. in Houston, Texas. I was telling Jerry, there's, there's more than Archie Bell and the Drells that comes out of Houston, Texas. And he did not know who they were. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> So, I'm probably going to have to show him the dance later. Let me throw this to you, this question. Trace, what's the mood in Houston? How's the vibe? What's the energy like? Uh, the vibe is, uh, is, I think the vibe is freaked out. You know, yeah. everybody's just kind of freaked out. It's, it's, um, it's mildly how dead the streets are and you know we should be in the throes of astros baseball we should be tex mex on somewhere yeah. and i should be yeah. getting my hair uh, bleached <laughs> to the color of patties because i'm not a natural blonde so i'm real oh, like shook. i am <laughs> but people are just really freaked out you know we just don't know what's coming next and what to expect and what's going to get back to normal. The good news is that people are also being very kind to one another mm -hmm. and really supporting each other, reaching out to each other. So I love, I love that, you know, Houstonians, because of our experience with natural disasters like hurricanes, we're used to stepping up when we have each other's backs during these trying times. I'm sure y'all are the same way there. Well, that's one thing I mentioned because when you, when the hurricanes and the floods hit, your store was pretty well trashed, maybe? Yeah. Well, the store was not as badly damaged as a lot of other stores, but yeah. what we did was um, there was such a need for, because there were so many dogs that had been instantly displaced right. and homeless that what was not harmed we donated every single item in our store and uh just said we don't need this but it's needed somewhere else and the the staff thought i was crazy i mean they really thought i had lost my mind but then you know somebody did a t-shirt uh fundraiser for us and some and that got us our next purchase of of inventory and somebody did a uh, barbecue cook off and i mean we had the community came back and helped us raise money to get our inventory back in and so, so that's why i'm never afraid to donate uh and, and i'm gonna start doing that now also because um it all turns out right. okay you know that's awesome i mean and you, you you're just so giving with your things i mean uh, trace you, know, you can't see it i don't think behind you but you've got your hydroponic garden growing and you give away kale because it makes and pet food healthier i mean there are things like that you do do that, that are just so cool um um always I've always given away free stuff in the store and uh and then my husband um <laughs> because his typical uh you know function in my life is to cut the party short <laughs> came to me and said um came to me and said oh we're supposed to make money <laughs> I was like what so I have tried to suppress some of my um, giving, but I just can't help it. If there's somebody in need, like we, we bought, when this all started, we bought a case of um, hand sanitizer for the store and for the employees. Mm -hmm. And then when people would come in, we 
customers would come in. I just wanted to astonish them and make their day. So I was like, here's a free hand sanitizer. And so I gave all my hand sanitizer oh my away. Gosh. And so I just love, I love to astonish customers <laughs> with kindness, happiness, and generosity. Nice. I feel your positive energy radiating from Houston, Texas. Trace is live on What's Barking Local here on the I Love Seville Network. Patty and Trace, friends. She owns a pet grocery, a phenomenal one in Houston, Texas. How about this? We have a lot of entrepreneurs watching the program. Cool innovations that you've seen in Houston, Texas from small business owners. Not necessarily... And, and it doesn't have to be in dog in, in the pet category. Just cool innovations you've seen that maybe you could pass along to the East Coast here. Oh, I think I think without a doubt, my favorite thing that I've seen happening is the collaboration between businesses of varying industry. So there may be a crawfish restaurant that is doing curbside that we might collaborate with and say, you know, if you buy four pounds of crawfish, you'll get a chew bone free or, you know, whatever. It's the companies that are coming together um, and collaborating in their parking lots and making like um, almost like a drive through uh, strip center right, outside right. that that cars can come to and you can get your vitamin C from the, from the lady with the health food store. Then go to the next drive through tent and get your dog food. Go to the next drive through tent and one of the distilleries is doing free hand sanitizer. Nice. And I just think the coolest thing is the drive through strip centers that we're seeing pop up because it's just allowing people to get out of the house in the safety of their own vehicle still have some human interaction mm -hmm. and it's fostering relationships between these, you know, companies that might not have had relationships before, but I guarantee you will be ongoing. And that is the coolest thing that I think, um, has come out, out of this. The second coolest thing is that everybody forgot <laughs> that the Astros are cheating. Oh, that's true. Uh -oh. Trace. That's true. <laughs> This could be this. This whole thing could have been manufactured by those crafty well, Astros. Crafty been. Astros, Trace. That was good. That was a good joke. I'd love to see more more businesses added to. I know we're starting to do these drive through farmers markets, but I would love to see a That's little. That's happening. It, yeah, the farmers yeah. markets are happening, yeah. and people are adding food to it. Like I know Pie Dog is going to be doing pizzas when you can pick up your your plants and your radishes. But it'd be cool to add some more businesses to that, like you're doing. That's, that might not be yeah. a bad idea. And yeah. Trace, I'm going to throw this to you here. Uh, that might not be a bad idea for yeah. you guys to get in on the drive through farmer's market train yeah. where they could drive through and potentially scoop up some food or some necessities, yeah. some essentials. On, what do you think? That'd be great. You, uh, know? you know, dog treats. I, yeah. I, need, I need a trailer. The coolest thing about <laughs> you do, you know, Patty, the coolest thing we've done <laughs> with farmer's market is when we have a pickup, we've done that before. We will make a list of the vegetables and fruits that are actually safe mm -hmm. for pets so that when they pick up their farmer's market bag or box, they'll know what they can use also to share with their pets oh. for a healthy addition to that dog that's cool So that's a great collab. Yeah. Also. Is, your, yeah. is, your, is your trailer going out on the farmer's markets? Tell, tell, my, tell everybody about your new trailer. This thing is the best. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's so exciting. It it's a little vintage camper. It's a little bitty like um, like teardrop yeah. vintage camper that we restored. And uh, and it's a food truck for dogs. Ooh. And yeah. we had every weekend book all the way through the summer. But, of course, it got canceled. But um, now we're just putting it up in our parking lot. It's a food truck for dogs called the Happy yeah. Humper. <laughs> totally adorable. Because uh, <laughs> I'm always a little frisky. <laughs> and... Um, and so we put together Humpy Meals, which are like a little, uh, it's a little like burrito mm -hmm. bowl of dog food, a, a treat, a toy, just like a Happy nice. Meal, and they get a free banana. And so that's brought a lot of attention to the parking lot, and that's one thing we're going to try to do um, over here. And you know what? I don't mean to interrupt you. And Trace, I'm going to throw this to you. I just texted Judah while you were talking about the food truck for dogs about yeah. this. He's going to go to your Facebook page to see if we can get the truck on screen oh, here yeah. on What's Barking Local, oh, which would be awesome. Oh, there's great pictures of it. Yeah, yeah. But keep going, Trace. Keep going. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. yeah. I was just going to say one of the things I'm really trying to do right now is coordinate with our American Red Cross uh, to see if we can get a mobile blood drive going out, out here because so many companies have canceled mm-hmm. their mobile blood drives. And so I think that would be another great, great thing to add some attention into partnership with um, if you're a, if you're an entrepreneur with, with a storefront um, to see if you can go in. They have really taken over and above precautions to make sure it's safe for everyone. And uh, I just, that's one of my goals. I just can't is get there, Is there back. anything that goes on with that, you know, as far as people distancing, you know, they have to wait or, or how, how does this work? Huge, um, like, a, like a huge protocol in place. Uh-huh. Only one or two people I think are in there at a time and they're all masked. And uh, they've gone really above and beyond to make sure it's safe because they really are in desperate need right wow. now. That's a real deal. That is the real deal. Because I, I heard that. something that they were looking at maybe doing blood transfusions, you know, for people that were really having problems with this disease, you know, that that might be an option. So, you know, anything's a possibility. Exactly. Right? That's what we have to say. Trace right. is on the hotline, guys, from <laughs> Houston, Texas. She's an entrepreneur. She owns a small business, a pet grocery. She is homies <laughs> and super tight right. with Patty Zeller. <laughs> Patty owns Animal Connection in the McIntyre <clears throat> Plaza. Three people shooting the shit, talking positive right. <laughs> trends and strategies and entrepreneurship in yeah. our communities. Trace, I'm getting word from Judah our director, who says the photo of your um, vehicle. The Happy Humper. The Happy Humper <laughs> is coming on screen. and se- it's, it's, it's on screen now. Woohoo! He's got three photos on screen. Okay. Give us the nitty-gritty, okay. Trace. Give us the nitty-gritty. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> There's some pictures, right? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. I love it. <laughs> the graphics that are going on there are super cute. And Tra- yeah. Trace is an amazing illustrator. Yeah. She did all of it, right? Uh, well... Uh, It looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> Put him in quarantine. <laughs> I absolutely love this, Trace. I love the innovation. I love the ideas. Um, great guests. You can see the opportunity of what oh, yeah. we can do here. Absolutely. Um, give her a final word anywhere she wants to go. Well, I, I, you know, we're just going to keep on going and staying positive and coming up with more creative ideas. And, you know, there's just something new to look forward to every week. And I know that, you know, you've been putting together some like things like your, your quarantine and your bark busters and your, you know, different things that people can do at home to keep their dogs uh, active and then the kids active. In fact, one thing we did this week was, you know, your kids are driving you nuts. Here, here's your birthday party package. Here's your cake mix, your ice cream mix, you know, different things like this. You know, your stores uh, have got great ideas for you, I mean, not not just not just Charlottesville stores, but you know, I, you know, look around and yep. see what's going on out there. But uh, I think everybody's really trying to put something positive out there that people can do at home and be inspired and and have fun and, and you know, and we'll get through this whole deal as long as you try to make it fun, right? Yeah. Yes. So, yes, for sure. Yeah. Well, well, thank you, Trace, for joining us on what's yeah. barking local. See that. Oh, oh, thank you so much, it didn't guys. Hurt a bit. <laughs> Everybody out there, and yeah. So she killed it. Thank you, Trace. <laughs> Judah, good work today on that interview. Trace, the best of luck in Houston, Texas. She's fantastic. I love her style. Yeah. Oh, she's got. She's oh my got gosh, style. she's got some style. Talk, how did you meet her? Um, I met her through one of my pet retailer groups. Okay. And, um, you know, she's just got one of those magnetic personalities. I mean, you, you know when you walk into a group. Who, who, I could feel the I'm energy talk to that through person, the screen. Right? Yeah, yeah, I could feel the energy you know, through the screen. She just exudes positivity and fun and, and um, yeah. 
You, you, you know who your friends are going to be. Well, I'm excited for the opportunity of welcoming your Rolodex um, ah. from outside Charlottesville <laughs> to the yeah. program. Well, next week Via you're going to meet my twin sister. You have a twin sister? I do. You don't have a twin sister. Not a real twin sister, but this is <laughs> one of my longest. Say, you don't have a real twin sister. If you put us next to each other, you would swear we were blood twin sisters. And she's my friend from Greensboro, North Carolina. Yeah. And uh, she's a dog person, but she's also a, a, an event planner and just involved in the arts and fun and, you know, just yet another inspiring, fun person that's thinking positive and making a difference in her community. Well, I love it. Um, yeah. I thought today's show was great. I really loved welcoming Trace <laughs> from Houston. Yeah. Teresa says this is so cute. Um, she sounds absolutely fantastic. Well, maybe she'll um, come up here one time. <laughs> I would love it if yeah. that was the case. Uh, 30 <laughs> minutes in, you, another good show. What is the um, update um, for the community with Animal Connection? Animal Connection? Man, uh, if you want to be able to donate some money for... Uh, uh, for us to get some more food to these rescue groups, you know, give me a call. We're going to place another order on Sunday afternoon. So uh, for 10 bucks, you can make a whole lot of difference uh, to these small res rescue groups like Green Dogs, Caring for Creatures, Peaceful Passings, and others. And you can help get food to people that are without jobs. Uh, we're doing sort of like mini care packages to, to help them out. So if you, if you want to help us make a difference in the community, give us a call. We're ready to go. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. Yvonne <laughs> says, I love her attitude. She loves the happy humper. Lauren Janice <laughs> says, howdy, friend. Nice. Um, thank you guys for watching What's Barking Local. Um, same day delivery from your store. That's right. Free. Same, same day, day delivery. delivery. Jinx. Right. Touch something That's right. rad. That's Buy right. me a Coke. Free <laughs> same day delivery right. and Animal Connection. That's right. Do it. Support. Right. Do it. Do it today. Oh, um, very nice, very nice. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, another very, very, very solid show. Trace, thank you. You see you watching for joining us on the program. Yep. Support Animal Connection and the businesses that support you and make the community better. She's been doing that for almost 20 years. And if you guys see a pink bunny on a bicycle delivering Easter baskets, please let me have the bike lane. <laughs> that should be, you should be doing that. That I will be doing branding, that. Branding and marketing. That's right. Tips. I will be delivering dog Easter baskets in the Belmont community to someone who offered an extra hundred dollars if I would do it. Mark, so, Mark, you yep. as well, yep. um, and a pink plush. No, it's just me. Just not me. Mark as well. No, no, no. no okay. it's just me. Patting. Love yep. it. We're social distancing. I love. It. <laughs> Smart. We're, we're not sharing bunny suits. Smart. Oh. <laughs> Beth Marcus says, "I cannot wait to see that." <laughs> It Beth will be Marcus epic. Beth is going to go on a $750 shopping spree Woo. with you doing that. A she is? And a, and a bicycle. Did she just get voluntold? <laughs> I just, Beth, you're due uh -oh. a pink. She's done her bit. A <laughs> pink bunny suit on a bicycle. We loaded Beth Marcus's car this morning. downtown, Belmont, Little Grays. Oh, my Grays. gosh. Beth is going to hook it up. Oh, man. It's, yeah, I'll do it. Why not? I'll take it for the team. Of course you will. I'll take it for the team. You do? No. This is the kind of stuff that we love because we love we do life. Like it. Yeah. We love oh. We're wearing ear bunnies. Yeah. Bunny ears. Can I wear pearls? Um, you can do whatever you want. There are no rules <laughs> I here. usually do. You can, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> I usually do. This is What's Barking Local, powered by Animal <laughs> Connection in the McIntyre Plaza. Support them. Beth says, I'm just going to venture out of my house against the rules to see Patty do this. <laughs> she will be watching. Okay. She's going to leave her house. I won't, you you <laughs> I won't let you down. You in a bicycle. I won't let you down. Thank you, Beth. Oh my gosh! Uh, thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you next Wednesday at All three right. o'clock. All right. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, guys. Take care. <laughs> I really liked. Good job, Judah. I really liked the. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I like that too. <laughs>